In the tender years of my youth, I found myself caught in the crossfire of neighborhood gang violence. I was an outsider, a target, visiting a friend in a place where I didn't belong. A glimmer of hope appeared one day in the form of an advertisement in a local shop for kung fu classes. The martial art promised strength, discipline, a way to protect myself. What I didn't realize, however, was that I was stepping into a manipulative cult, a move that would forever alter the course of my life. I diligently practiced the art, but the teacher had plans beyond training me. He wanted me to marry his 24-year-old daughter, despite my tender age of 19. The pressure was immense, and so I succumbed. I was manipulated into a marriage far before my time, abandoning my initial plan of settling down at 50. The first five years following our divorce were calm. I saw my children every weekend, maintaining a steady presence in their lives. But as they entered their teenage years, my ex-wife cut off contact. She painted me as unstable, as a threat. The accusations were baseless, but they were enough to keep me away from my children. The legal battle to regain access to my children cost me over 5,000 pounds. My ex-wife could claim legal aid while I had to shoulder the financial burden. All I wanted was to see my children, but the fight seemed endless. On top of that, I was left to pay off debts accumulated from her reckless spending, adding to the strain. My ex-wife filed with the Child Support Agency, which could extract 20% of my salary as child support, along with an admin charge. The cost was crippling. I had to take up two jobs just to stay afloat, keeping one hidden from the agency's prying eyes. I sought a contact order, but when the other party is unwilling to cooperate for the children's benefit, progress is a distant dream. It was a dark period in my life, a time that pushed me to the brink. I believe they wanted to break me completely, drive me to suicide. But I found my salvation in Buddhism. It taught me to let go of attachments and to embrace my new identity. It's been over 10 years since I last saw my children. My ex-wife doesn't even recognize me in the street. The journey has been harrowing, but it has shaped me into the person I am today. The key takeaways from my story are to always be cautious of manipulation, to understand the emotional and financial implications of divorce, and to seek legal counsel when navigating child custody battles. More importantly, it's crucial to find a support system, a source of strength to guide you through the challenging times, just as I found in Buddhism. Life throws curveballs, but it's up to us to decide how we respond. We can choose to crumble, or we can choose to rise stronger than before.